video of how to disassemble the uh, 572 uh, Remington uh, Fieldmaster. Uh, so in this video we're going to cover how to disassemble it. This fire is a little different. Uh, you need to remove the uh, inner magazine tube first. Go ahead and slide that baby out. And now you're going to go ahead and check the chamber and make sure it's clear. In this case you're going to go ahead and pump the action on it. Check in there make sure it's uh, empty. Go ahead and close it forward. Uh, make sure the safety's on. And you're right out your dust assemble. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and remove these two uh, trigger plate pins. In this case, I'm using a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Basically, just using the punch to get those pins out. We're going to go ahead and go over those pins and bump them out. Okay, one thing to note uh, this last pin or this first pin here might be a little tricky to get out because it is kind of spring loaded in here. They might have to get a little tug and get it out, but it comes out. Okay, now you go ahead and take out your uh, trigger plate assembly. Uh, it's very easy. All you do is want to can it out, just grab it like so, and pull it out this way, and go ahead and set your uh, trigger plate assembly aside. You don't really need to do anything clean wise. I don't know how to break this part down because, quite frankly, uh, it looks complicated as hell. <laughs> so uh, you don't need to mess with that. Just give it a nice brushing and blah blah. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and flip the firearm over. On the opposite side of the ejection port, we're going to go ahead and remove this barrel uh, dowel screw here. Go ahead and take a small uh, flathead screwdriver in this case and go ahead and remove this screw. Okay, once you go ahead and remove that screw, uh, you may want to also look out. You might have a small washer in here also. You might have to take your firearm, flip it, and pound it a couple times to get that small washer out. Uh, personally, mine's really old, so I don't have it. I don't know if my grandpa lost it or whatnot, but just look out for that small washer if there's one in there. Alright, next thing we'll go ahead and remove is this barrel lock screw here. It's right beneath the forearm on the pump action uh, forearm itself. You can go ahead and flip the firearm over like it is on the inside here. Take a Phillips head screwdriver and go ahead and take out this screw. Okay, one thing to note is as you're removing this, uh, this screw might be a little difficult to pull out because of this bushing. There's this rubber bushing in here, which you don't want to mess with, by the way, when you're disassembling this farm. It specifically says this. Uh, but in order to get this out, you'll just have to slowly unscrew it, and then if you have to, you might have to take a player pliers and pull it out the rest of the way, just because of the friction of the rubber holding on each side. The screw threads are actually unscrewed all the way, but for some newer ones, it might be a little tight. And then you can go ahead and pull that screw out. Okay, now that we got everything unscrewed and pins out, we can go ahead and separate the receiver from the barrel and uh, the magazine tube itself. So what you're going to do is you want to firmly uh, grasp the barrel and the pump action itself, like so, and then go ahead and do the same receiver, and you're going to pull, uh, separating these halves together. And it specifically says take a firm grip here, so when you're pulling this out, you don't disturb this bushing on the way out. So go ahead and grab it, grab it. It might be a little difficult the first time you do this if it's a new rifle or you haven't done it in a while. But then you want to go ahead and pull slowly and this will go ahead and separate the two halves from each other. Like so. Alright, this is about as far as we can go ahead and disassemble the receiver and everything. Now, there is a small plate here that you can take out. I advise you don't take it out though because it's a pain in the butt to take uh, to put back in. Uh, it's basically you don't really need to take it out for no reason to get it in there and clean and no big deal. So go ahead and set this to the side. Okay, now that I got that disassembled, we can go ahead and remove the forearm pump action itself and also the bolt. Uh, you don't have to remove uh, the pump action itself if you don't want to, but it, it's pretty easy to do and it allows you to clean inside there and everything. So if you want to do it, I would do it. Okay, in order to go ahead and take this forearm off, we're going to go ahead and remove this whole magazine tube. This is the outer magazine tube. Uh, the one you pulled out that uses your spring tension, that's the inner magazine tube for some technical lingo. Uh, there's a small screw here. We're going to go ahead and remove this small screw. It's very tiny. It's a flathead screwdriver screw, but you want to uh, just be careful when you remove this puppy. Uh, you might have to use a very small uh, flathead screwdriver to do it but uh, this one happens to fit perfect.
Okay, go ahead and set that very small screw to the side. And now you're able to pull out the magazine tube uh, all together. Like so. And then you go ahead and here's your pump action itself with the lug mount. Alright, now we can go ahead and remove the bolt. If you want to go ahead and skip those steps that we just did and just go ahead and remove the bolt, you can. You don't have to worry about removing the magazine tube and all that good stuff. All you got to do is remove the bolt is simply pull it out. Lengthwise, this allows you to scrub in here. You don't really need to take apart this bolt. I just clean it real good and there you go. Okay. Now that you got that, you can go ahead and clean inside the mouth of the chamber, uh, the edge over here, along the ejector side. It's really good because it gives you good open areas to clean with. Uh, makes it real good to clean. Uh, another thing you could take out is your ejector here. It's actually this brass ejector. Very easy to take out. All you gotta do is take that flathead screwdriver and push it out to one side. You're gonna push it out. If the barrel's this way, you'll push it out to the left side and it'll can out like so. Then you go ahead and pull it out this way. And then this is your ejector. You can go ahead and clean that real good also. Our reassembly is basically the exact same thing except for you doing the opposite motion. Uh, we'll cover, cover a few key components here uh, when doing it that might be a little iffy. If you did take this out, this is your ejector. You're going to go ahead and cant it in the same way you took it out. So you're going to stick it in that slot, meet it to the face wall inside, and you're going to go ahead and push it back down. And you can go ahead and check, make sure it's flat against the wall inside of the barrel with your flathead screwdriver and just push it against that wall and voila alright now that you got the magazine tube uh, installed properly what you want to do is go ahead and set that magazine screw that very small one we were talking about earlier uh, one thing to note you don't want to tighten this too much because if you do your threads will actually go to excuse me, go through on the other side and get into your, your inner magazine tube and that will basically won't allow you to close the magazine tube onto the shells. So just get it lined up over the small hole. You'll see the hole in the magazine tube itself over the and then go ahead and run that down, that screw down. Alright, you just want to loosen that thing. You don't want to tighten it real much. Just Just give it you know, finger tighten it right now and leave it at that. We'll, we'll tighten it up later as necessary. Alright, now we can go ahead and re reinstall the receiver onto the barrel itself. Uh, one thing, key thing you want to note is you want this lug here for your action, your action lug, to be keyed in to your bolt itself when you slide it in. So it'll be like this. You'll hold it like so and then you'll seat it into the receiver. Go ahead and take it like so. You're going to go ahead and mate them up like so. And they should go in just like that. And you go ahead and flip the firearm over. You're going to go ahead and run that barrel lock screw back through. Alright, now you go ahead and key it in like so, like you see in that picture. Just stick it in that small slot and you're able to seat it to the rear. Okay, now the last thing we want to do is go ahead and install your magazine tube and check this screw that we were talking about so you don't want to over tighten it. And you're going to go ahead and tighten this puppy just a little bit. And then go ahead and check it. See it slides out easy. If it's, if it's sticking, you're going to go ahead and back it out. And then get it so it's perfect so your tube comes out real easy. Just note uh, this screw feels kind of loose, uh, like it's fixing to fall out. You might want to put some Loctite on this, the thread itself, but it shouldn't come out. 